Hi guys, Sean here from DigiDirect. Today we're going to be doing an interesting comparison looking at black and white or monochrome shooting uh, across three different camera models. Now the cameras we're going to be comparing is going to be the Leica M10 monochrome, which is their brand new uh, camera. It was just announced, an update to their previous monochrome. This is a dedicated monochrome shooter. It only shoots monochrome, so it's very specialized. We're going to be comparing that to the Fujifilm X-T3, which is obviously a popular camera, and the Sony a7 III, which is a very popular camera. Now, I'm going to start off by showing you some images shot on the M10 mon monochrome, uh, just to show you kind of what it can do as it's a new camera, just to show off some of the capabilities. And then we're going to do a blind test. I'm going to show you images shot on each camera uh, with their respective monochrome modes. I'm not going to say which image was shot with which camera. You can mark down, make some notes as to which ones you preferred, and then at the end, I'll reveal which was shot with which camera, and you can kind of, without bias, be able to determine which you preferred the most. Now the reason we're doing this today is in light of the Mono Awards. This is a photography competition in uh, Australia and New Zealand uh, that is dedicated entirely to monochrome shooting. Now DigiDirect is a sponsor of these awards and submissions for the awards uh, are uh, available until mid-2020. So if you're an Aussie or Kiwi shooter and you've got some monochrome images you'd like to submit, I've got the submission link down in the video description below, so feel free to go there and check it out. So let's start by taking a quick look at the cameras that we'll be comparing here. The first is the Leica M10 monochrome, and as mentioned, the special thing about this camera is that it can only shoot in monochrome. It has no color filter at all. Now the upside to this is that removing the color filter means that the sensor requires less interpolation, which in theory allows the camera to offer sharper picture quality and better low light performance than a camera that does shoot in color. And you can be the judge of that as we look at the photos here. Now it has a 40 megapixel sensor built into what is basically the Leica M10 body, and it also has the ultra quiet shutter from the M10P. So this camera represents the pinnacle of monochrome shooting, but it's also the pinnacle of price. So it's gonna be good to compare the results of this camera to the other models which are not quite as high priced. So next up is the Fujifilm X-T3. I've already reviewed this camera, so I won't spend too much time here, but I chose this model because Fujifilm is well known for their film legacy, Back when film cameras, they made Provia, Velvia, a lot of very popular film styles, and they build these film simulations into all of their cameras, including some very popular monochrome film simulations. So while it may not be a dedicated monochrome camera, it definitely boasts a stronger monochrome legacy than many other brands can offer. And finally, the third camera is the Sony a7 III. This camera has a black and white shooting mode, but that's about as far as it goes. Sony is not particularly well known for the monochrome shooting performance, and they don't put any particular emphasis on it. But the a7 III is one of the most popular cameras on the market right now, so it's gonna be interesting to see if its basic monochrome features can hang with the big dogs. Okay, without any further ado, let's jump to the blind test. Now on the Fujifilm X-T3, we use the monochrome film simulations with none of the color filter, just the basic version. Now keep a, an eye out for the tone profile, the contrast, and the sharpness from all of these images. From each image set, write down uh, what you prefer, which one was your favorite from the, from the set. And at the end, I'll reveal which ones were shot from which camera, and you can see if you had a favorite. All right, let's jump right into it.
So what did you think? Did you find that there was one model that you were consistently choosing as your favorite from each image set, or was it a bit of you know a bit of a mix depending on the content of the image and so on? What did you think of the tone profile and the contrast and the, the sharpness of the images? Did you find that the, the sensor on the M10 monochrome with the lack of color filter there, did that make a significant difference? Could you tell the difference? Or maybe did you prefer the X-T3 or the A7 III? I won't color your opinions by telling you what I thought personally, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Leave a comment below letting us know which model you preferred and why. Now remember, if you're a Kiwi or an Aussie and you'd like to submit to the Mono Awards, you've got some monochrome images to submit, uh, just check the video description below. We've got the submission link down there, so please go ahead and submit there. Even if you shoot film, you can do this because our DigiDirect Labs can digitize your film images for you. Just contact your nearest DigiDirect store about that. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. It's a big help to us. Thanks, guys. Take care.